if anyone ever tells you that dental hygiene is not hurt, a lion. <laughs> Um, so today is the 8th, yeah, the 8th of February at 5.57. Um, so basically I went to go to the gym over stairs every morning and I have got a lot of, <laughs> which is a good thing, Etsy orders last night and then I do a, a one day delivery anyway. So I feel like I've got a lot to do and I normally, um, package everything in the morning and then go to the gym but I feel like because I've got a lot of things to do this morning and obviously I have to do like the admin part and everything as well I think I don't want to rush to the gym so what I'm gonna do is I'm still going to go but I'm not gonna go this morning I think I'm going to just do my Etsy get everything sorted and then I work from two o'clock today so I think I'm gonna go to the to my work a little bit earlier and then potentially work out at work instead of going to my other gym so I'm just gonna do my Etsy and then I'll see you in the gym later <laughs> to the park for the last four or five uh, days almost a year <laughs> because I was busy and yeah I haven't been to the park and I came back today and it's crazy all the flowers are out and everything look So nice, everywhere. Okay, so the last couple of days, I think I kind of come to the realization that um, if I'm not going to the park or like outside for like a couple of days, then you can really feel that in your mental health and stuff. I'm not saying like I feel like depressed or anything, but you just feel like your brain is just so foggy and stuff. So like, I just really feel like going outside 
probably not for everyone like I don't know if it's just like a personality thing and um, to be fair I do think everybody benefits from being outside but some people enjoy to be inside the house and be a hermit and stuff which I enjoy if to a certain, certain limit I think but I really need like the outside the fresh air like being in nature being in like the calm and stuff um so yeah so I haven't been to what's the day today Wednesday I haven't been out oh I've been outside obviously <laughs> doing things um but I haven't been to the park and just like relax and do nothing for the last I would say from Saturday so this what Saturday Sunday Monday, Tuesday, that's four days and I really feel the difference so I really need some na nature therapy <laughs> at the moment so I'm so glad I'm here Hello again, okay I decided I'm going to um, I've got a class I'm going to teach in a second um, and I've got Zumba after with the community exercise and I think I'm going to go for the treadmill I've got my waist trainer here to get me a bit more sweaty um, and don't ask me today, I don't know how much I'm going to film of the tra treadmill because it's just a treadmill, you see it many, many times. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm in a bit of a rush today because I had to do my FT in the morning, or like every morning, or most of the mornings, and I decided to do a spin class last second <laughs> this morning. So I'm going to work, and I do a virtual spin class this morning. I just feel like I want to try. Um, sorry, I'm just checking for the bus because I'm a little bit late for it. But I'm almost here, so I think I'll make it. And and so I started filming. So I started 10 today. So I want to see um, what class is after and if there's any spaces. So I might, I don't know, we'll see how I feel. Um, I think there is a pump potentially after, I might do. But um, see how much energy I have today. Okay, three minutes to the bus and I made it. <laughs> All right, see you at the gym. so I decided to do the spin um, I checked all the classes and the spin class only had two people booked in so there's plenty of space for me to do it and so it's meant to be a very quiet class I don't know like how much I can fi uh, film or how much you can see because it's, it's a virtual class and basically like behind me um, that's the projector so the class goes through that um, so obviously um, so obviously the lights need to be turned off and stuff and then it's like fancy lights and whatever so see how much I can get of that and then there's a pump body pump class after uh, I think it's 45 minutes or something like that um, which finishes at 9 so I'm gonna maybe do that as well and I still have an hour because I started 10 today to get showered and stuff um, so yeah so I'm gonna get a bike set it up I still have about half an hour till the class starts I go yeah um, obviously because of the bus too early um, so I will basically um, just set up the bike and stuff and we'll see how it goes I just got caught filming by the cleaners awkward <laughs> anyway I'm gonna set the bike up now It's actually not too bad, you can see me a little bit, <laughs> but this is the vibe. Look at my shoes. I could do like tap, tan. Hey guys, welcome to RPM 82. 
efficient, find good resistance to feel the workout, and most of all, have some fun. Cool? Sit up. Shake your arms. One, 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 two, one. Find a beat. So today you're just going to need a bar for your warm-up and we're doing things like um, seated overhead extensions and things today so if you need um, a certain weight for that then um, that's good. good i might do it next week as well um so basically because i've got the waist trainer on i sweat really weirdly <laughs> and literally look like a piss myself i don't know if it's really short on camera but it's like the sweat come down all the way can you see it <laughs> anyway um it was very good so I was this spin first and then the body pop after and my phone uh, memory ran out like almost at the beginning of the class. So I wasn't able to like record more than what I did. Um, but yeah, I think I definitely will do it maybe next week because I think I quite like that. Um, someone else is telling me what to do. Hello. I'm on my way to the dentist <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, I'm cheating myself a little bit. Um, so I've been to the dentist about, I think, I don't even know, three months ago for the, for the first time, probably after a really long time. And then they gave me all this list of like stuff I need to get done on my teeth. Um, so one appointment was done about a month ago, and I've got another one today, which is a dental hygienist, which isn't supposed to be painful and scary, but you know, when you got PTSD about the dentist, <laughs> you've got a PTSD about the dentist. So yeah, so I'm going there now. Um, we'll see what happens. 
but I decided to go to a crystal shop before. <laughs> before I'm just gonna have a look around. Maybe I find something I like before the dentist calm me down a little bit. Didn't get anything there but I went into an art shop if you saw it uh, because I needed some mash bags for my Etsy oh. Here we go. oh my god I'm le uh, I'm just come out of the dentist right Anyway, <laughs> if anyone ever tells you that dental hygiene is not her, a lion. <laughs> oh my god, I had to have um, the gel thing put on my gums because I was like <laughs> in pain. Anyway, so um, it's done. <laughs> so I need to come back in about three months to try to um, do it again. Hopefully it's gonna like be shorter apparently because it needs to be cleaned less essentially. Um, to be fair, I haven't been to the dentist for many years. So yeah, there you go, that's your price. But <laughs> literally, I feel like I need to take a shower when I get home because I'm sweating. Or oh, not anymore, but I was sweating crazy. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna take <laughs> It literally feels like my ass is it probably sweat more than when I went to the gym. <laughs> oh, I was like squeezing up my hands. I was squeezing, squeezing so hard that I think I haven't had like any circulation in my fingers. <laughs> anyway, it's done. Apparently, my gums are going to be quite sensitive for the next couple of days, and then they were bleeding mad. So, yeah. <laughs> It's done now, so I'm now going home. The first time and the second time I went, it was the same dentist because obviously I had to have like, have like more serious stuff done on my teeth. And then obviously now I just saw a hygienist, so it was a different person. And I don't know if he was just shitter than the other one because the first time I went, that my main dentist is actually very good. So he literally, basically they had to remove one of my tooth in the back and i say probably from like a 1 to 10 scale in terms of pain 10 being a super crazy pain i had about a 2 and today just from cleaning my teeth and then and he end up put on gel to like numb my gums and stuff i still say that i think i probably had about a 6 pain so i don't know if he was just not as good or maybe the other guy just gave me so much injection that I just didn't feel anything, even if someone like, I don't know, cuts my mouth open, I wouldn't feel anything, you know? So I, I don't really know. Anyway, I just thought I mentioned that. So it's not the same person who done it for the first time. So.